for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, a historic investment that will create millions of good-paying jobs and support America's future global competitiveness. This bill will do so much to repair our ailing infrastructure and will create two million labor-friendly jobs each year for a decade. Florida has 408 bridges and more than 3,564 miles of highway that are in poor condition. Through this bill, Florida will receive $13 billion for federal aid highway programs and $245 million for bridge repair. Florida will also receive $2.6 billion for public transit systems and $1.2 billion for airport development. And to further help us cut down tra on transportation emissions, the bill will provide Florida with nearly $200 million to support the expansion of an electric vehicle charging network. I've also heard, Mr. Speaker, from so many mun municipalities throughout South Florida who are struggling with obsolete water infrastructure. Thankfully, this bill provides Florida with $1.6 billion to get rid of lead pipes and improve water infrastructure. And for Florida's highways and byways, which are some of the most dangerous in the nation, this legislation will usher in a Safe Streets for All program to help reduce crashes and fatalities. Also important for Florida, this bill provides the Army Corps of Engineers with $1.9 billion for aquatic ecosystem restoration projects. The Florida delegation expects the Corps to use a large portion of this money on Everglades restoration to bolster the funding we already secured through the regular appropriations process and get this project back on track. This bill is a big investment in surface transportation and hard infrastructure, but it is only a segment of President Biden's Build Back Better agenda. I'm looking forward to passing the revolutionary climate and resiliency programs in the Build Back Better Act. For my own constituents and the children and grandchildren of everyone in this nation, I urge a yes vote on this important bill and the Build Back Better Act. That will allow us to truly rebuild our working class and set us on a path to prosperity. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Nebraska, Mr.